All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Alt Sparrow, and welcome to the first episode post victory road of our GFW series. This should be episode 38, I believe, which is pretty crazy. We're, we're up to episode 38, it's 15, 12. Um, this is the first episode post victory road, so a lot of storylines will be continued. Some have been wrapped up, and we're going to be starting new ones. Um, uh, there's some people that I I'm trying still to find something for them to do on the card, but I'm sort of struggling. Uh, so yeah, I will be starting the show, and uh, we'll see what this show brings us. We open the show with Jay Lethal telling Sting that he deserves a title shot. Sting says he'll think about it, considering Jay Lethal just got here and he did beat Kazuchika Okada at Victory Road, but that was one match and one match does not make one challenger unless it's a number one contenders match in which case it does Sting says he will take it under advisement and get back to lethal on it next week ne next we have Yoshirai I believe this is her impact debut Yoshirai defeated I meant the, I meant to put this the other way around I meant to have Yoshirai go over Marty Bell fuck uh, Marty Bell defeated Yoshirai in 732 with a straight jacket neck breaker. This isn't what I intended. Could you please? Oh. There was a segment in between those things. What was the segment in between those things? I don't remember. Well, we'll see what it is at a later date. Ashley Flair and Laurel Van Ness have a great chemistry, but in a bad that had a decent wrestling but not much heat, Ashley Flair defeated Laurel Van Ness in 10:23 by submission with a figure eight leg lock. Next, we have Ashley Flair calling out Rosemary, basically saying, "I want to challenge you for the championship next." So it looks like it looks like she wants to face Rosemary at Sacrifice. Uh, in a decent match, Chuck Taylor uh, defends defends his uh, X Division Championship against um, Chase Owens in an open challenge for a 50 rating. Next up, Braxton Sutter tries to sort of give props to Chuck Taylor for their match at uh, Victory Road, but Chuck Taylor just won't even acknowledge him. He doesn't he doesn't care. I guess Chuck Taylor really is a dick in real life. Then in a decent match, uh, Tracy Williams, who suffered a dislocated shoulder, and Fred, Fred, mm -hmm, his tag team partner, defeated High Impact in 13:05 when Tracy Williams defeated Johnny Impact by submission. Ah, uh, this is bullshit. <laughs> Tracy Williams is one of the best out there in the independent circuit. <laughs> Tracy Williams sustained a dislocated shoulder in this match. All right. Then we had a freestyle segment. Uh, Evolve tried to beat down High Impact, but Moose and Stevens ran in to make the save. Uh, setting up um, the match that comes after this. The Chosen Bros taking on Aaron Stevens and Moose Maryland. Jeff Cobb defeats Moose Maryland with a tour of the islands in 1326. Matt Riddle is a weak link. That is also bullshit. Um, next we have uh, the Golden Lovers who sort of are getting cocky and just won't um, stop bragging about how they've beaten every single tag team Impact Wrestling has to offer. Uh, Sting comes out and doesn't come out. He meets them backstage. They're backstage. Warns the Golden Lovers not to get complacent or a pair of Young Bucks could capitalize. Next we have a freestyle segment. Uh, Lashley, Abyss, and Storm lock LAX in their locker room. They lock them in. Uh, to prevent them from interfering in the main event of the evening, Abyss, who had a one-on-one -on -one match with Homicide, defeated him by pinfall with a shock treatment. Um, interesting enough, after the match, Abyss uh, stared at the heart cam and did the Cero Miedo uh, hand sign. Not sure what that's supposed to mean, but definitely didn't... F Jesus Christ. Definitely didn't forget to add that in as a... As a uh, segment, EC3 calls Pena out to tell him he will invoke his rematch clause next week. So next week, we will have Ethan Carter III versus Dark Pentagon for the GFW Global Heavyweight Championship. It'll be the rematch uh, of Victory Road. Uh, so we are looking forward to that. We get a 73 rating, which isn't bad. It's a pretty good rating. And uh, yeah, we're going to be 
advancing to the next day. And as soon as this does, I will be wrapping up the episode because this has been a pretty tiring bulk recording session today. Um, yesterday's video and tomorrow's video were all recorded in the same day. Uh, so yesterday you got APW, tomorrow you got APW again, unless I recorded something on the fly, something special, which I don't think I will because uh, I'm pushing myself to record this as we speak. I'm sort of, sort of sick. Uh, now what I meant to click. Dislocated shoulder. He will be taking some time off to heal, which kind of sucks. 23 days. So uh, I don't know if he'll be back in, in time for um, sacrifice. So what is our TV rating? 72. That's good. That is good. That is a good rating. I like that. I like that rating. Eddie Edwards has renewed his contract. That is cool. All right, that'll do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Let me know what you think in the comments. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you in whatever I upload next.